Hey there, everyone. This is Darshana Avila. It is the 24th day of Power to the P, this month of mindful masturbation practice. And I am coming to you very shortly after <laughs> my my self-pleasuring today and I'm still in a lot of the emotion that was moving through. So today's was a surprising practice. I adamantly did not want to self-pleasure. I did not want to masturbate. I did not want orgasmic yoga. Um, I didn't have a good night's sleep. There was a bunch of like just chunky emotional material that I'm sorting through. And I woke up today and I was just like, nope, I'm not having it. And I ended up like on the computer way earlier than I normally would like to be and just dove into work mode around a few different things. And yeah, I just didn't really want to be with my body because my body wasn't feeling very good. There, there's a tenderness. And I went to yoga because that's often, um, that is the one way that, most of the time, I am very happy to get on a yoga mat. It's the rare thing these days that would keep me from enjoying that form of practice. Um, although in my decade plus relationship with yoga, there's been a lot of ebb and flow there too. Um, so I went, I had a great yoga class and it happens to be this unusually warm, sunshiny spring day here, even though it's still winter. <laughs> and I took a walk and had some food in the park and just allowed myself to, to go really slow and gentle. And then I got on a call for my sexological bodywork training and we were sharing in a format of what's hot and what's hard. So something that's going awesome and something that's a challenge. And my what's hard was just me saying, I don't want to masturbate. And what the hell was I doing signing myself up by my own self for this video blog where I've got to talk about the fact that I'm pleasuring myself and connected with myself and today I just don't want to do it. Uh, so I went through all of that emotion and I got to be received by some of my cohort members and I got to also hear the reflection of the leader of our group who shared that during her training, I'm going to take a sip of water. Mm. During her training, she experienced that same type of thing of just not really feeling it, you know, and that it's totally natural and it's normal. And so, <clears throat> interestingly, call ends. I take a shower. After the shower, I'm rubbing my favorite lotion on my body. Hmm. Okay. Something's starting to happen here. And I notice that my turn on is there and all of a sudden it goes from like subtle to horny. Like, wow, there it is. My arousal just came on out of nowhere. And I let myself just kind of follow around this apartment that I'm in. I was naked and enjoying like my soft, freshly bathed, freshly moisturized skin. And my hand went to my yoni and I started to just play with myself in whatever ways felt good. And then at some point in time, I made my way toward a mirror and spent several minutes just doing like very deep and intentional breath and watching the movement of my breath in my yoni and in my exterior anal sphincter and just looking at this rhythm of life flowing through me and feeling this, this building heat and enjoyment and pleasure. And I found myself in a position that I don't know that I've ever really taken for self-pleasuring, which was that I was squatting down with my back kind of arched over the foot of the bed. So it was supporting me. And, and yet I, I had a lot of access to my genitals and just moved into this really subtly powerful, if those two words were to go together. It wasn't like, wow, kind of big explosive power. It was a very like deep and slow moving potency that was unfolding through my body and a huge wave of emotion came through and then tears began to, to fall. And it felt like orgasm. It is orgasm. And I really do strongly believe that it's not just one thing and it's certainly not just one form of fluid that moves through our body. Um, 
an orgasmic release can absolutely take the form of tears, of laughter, of the different juices and, and fluids that can come through our genitals. There's many, many different ways for an orgasm to express. And so for me, it just came forward in this very tender, beautiful, and surprising way today. Like I said, I really didn't think I was going to practice today. And I was scratching my head wondering, what am I going to give you guys on this video blog? What am I going to give myself? Um, and then there's that element of surprise. So let that be the lesson today. May we continue to allow ourselves to be surprised by our own selves, by our own experience, and by staying open to the mystery of all that we are and all that our bodies are capable of feeling and enjoying. Um, now that I've put this down for posterity, I'm probably going to spend just a little time doing some journaling and reflecting on on what it is that moved through me today and just being with whatever's there, the things that feel good, the things that don't. Ah, yeah. So that's my report. We've only got a few more days to go. I cannot believe it. In a way, this month feels like it's flown by so quickly. In a way, it feels like, oh goodness, are we there yet? I hope your journeys are going well. I look forward to hearing from you and I will be back tomorrow with more. Take care. Be well.